Uh, I'm here with Anna Gaskar, my, my uh, co-host. So next month, a, a very rare five-cent nickel is going to be on the block at Heritage Auction House in Chicago. It's expected to be auctioned off for anywhere between two and five million dollars. Uh, Ryan Givens and his three siblings own the rare coin. Ryan is is joining us right now. Ryan, it's great to have you here. Thank you. Hey, glad to be here. So, be here. did you know how much this coin was worth? No, no. <laughs> How long has it been in your family? Almost 70 years. And, and where was it all these years? Well, my uncle acquired it in the mid-40s. He kept it until he died in an automobile accident on mm. the way to a show in 1962. To a, on his way to a coin to show? A coin right. Show. Okay, he, he was, was a collector. taking the nickel with him. Okay. And then um, when it was being appraised to settle his estate, they determined that the nickel, or they felt it was an altered date. Okay. Because there were a lot of altered date coins changed to look like a 13 because it was so valuable. So they thought maybe it was a fake, that it wasn't really yeah. authentic. So, so they didn't think it was worth that much. Yeah. In fact, they put on the paper at the bank, they just said no value, sent it back oh to the gosh. bank. Oh, my gosh. Wow. And, uh, it was put with the rest of, uh, I guess, the odds and ends that were left after the estate was settled. So it, it's just been stored, like, in a box or something all these years? Yeah, my mom got it. She just acquired it, and, and she made a note on an envelope that it was an altered date, stuck it in a box in her bath, a bedroom closet, and as far as I know, never looked at it again until she died. Wow, so it's been sitting there all this time. All what time. made you look into whether or not it was authentic again? About 10 years ago, in fact, it was exactly 10 years ago, the opportunity came. They wanted to show it in a show, even though it was a fake. Uh -huh. So they just asked me to bring it up. But they mentioned that, well, if you want to look at it a little closer, there are people there to look at it. So they did, and they determined that it wasn't a fake, that it was a real one, that it was a missing fifth. What are you going to do with that money? <laughs> <laughs> are you going to Disneyland? <laughs> well, we determined that it was a good time to put it up for auction, and um, Heritage Auction, which is putting it up for auction, is doing a good job, a great job, of getting the story of the nickel and my uncle back out there, which was the main goal we wanted anyway. Right. So, um... Is it kind of bittersweet to, it is. to see it go? Uh, well, there are things that I can do with the nickel, such as this, right. that I can't do with a million dollars. And, uh, I'll miss it. I, I, I'll, I'll hate to see it go, but yeah. I guess it'll give us an opportunity to do some things for my uncle and... I'd be lying to say I couldn't use a little of it myself. Yeah. <laughs> Understandable. Uh, I want to introduce the, uh, the president of Heritage, of Heritage Auctions. Greg Rowan is here. Uh, this is where the nickel's going to be auctioned. W what should people do if they think they may have something valuable in their home, Greg? What do you recommend? Because Heritage, I, I actually get a lot of stuff at Heritage Auctions. You guys have movie poster sales. You have an amazing array of stuff that you auction off. You can, the best thing to do if you think you've got something valuable is to go on the, our website, ha.com, to ask an expert. And there's experts in 35 different categories who would be happy to tell you if you've got the Hope Diamond or just hope. Because <laughs> the stuff you auction off, I mean, books that people might not think, uh, you know, it's an old book, they may not think it has value, but some of these old books, now first editions, go for, you know, thousands and thousands, tens of thousands of dollars. We sold a, a Book of Mormon that a lady had uh, last year for more than fifty thousand dollars that had been in her family that she had no idea she, she we, we asked her if she thought it had a lot of value she said that she was hoping it was worth a few hundred dollars that's incredible well i'm a big fan of the auction because even your catalogs are just fun to look at because it's it's just such a interesting assortment of stuff so uh, i'm so glad you're here and it's good advice to, to uh for for folks if they think they have something of value at home to check out your website greg thank you thank and you. i have a metro yeah. card from 2006. <laughs> <laughs> anna if you will sign them if you'll sign the metro card we can put it in a hollywood entertainment member Ooh, billion. there you go they you get 13 dollars <laughs> right. uh, well listen ryan i wish you the best i hope it goes for a lot of money and i wish yeah. the best to your family thank you so much really great story thank you for having thank me you for being here